We often associate the carnival with memories of youth, laughter and joy. However, amidst the excitement and festivities, tragic incidents can and do often occur, reminding us of the importance of safety and vigilance in these environments. Researchers at the Centre for Injury Research and Policy discovered that in a span of 20 years, hospital emergency departments treated over 27,000 children under the age of 18 for significant injuries caused by mobile rides commonly seen at fairs and festivals. One such heartbreaking incident involved the untimely death of six-year-old Eugene Mahariki, who died on one of these rides in April of 2017. So what happened to the boy? This is the infamous death of Eugene Mahariki. There is little information found online about Eugene, but we do know he was born to parents Tammy White and Stacy Mahariki in Rye, a coastal town located in the Mornington Peninsula region of Victoria, Australia. He was one of six siblings, having four sisters and a brother. His parents said Eugene was a happy, kind and caring boy and he loved nothing more than to dance. Eugene was energetic and loved spending time with his dogs and siblings and their family was very close to one another. Eugene loved the carnival. His parents who worked as ride operators would take him and his siblings every year. Because his parents were ride operators, he was no stranger to them and his favourite ride was the cha-cha ride. The Cha Cha Ride has been a beloved attraction at carnivals and fairs for generations, providing thrills and excitement for the younger generation and the spinning ride has become a staple at fairs and festivals across the country. The Cha Cha Ride is a thrilling carnival ride that spins riders in both clockwise and counterclockwise directions simultaneously, creating a dynamic and exhilarating experience. The ride consists of three arms, each equipped with four seats, accommodating two to three riders per seat. As the main ride arm rotates clockwise, the upper arms move in an anti-clockwise direction, resulting in a zigzag motion. The combination of spinning and swinging movements has made this type of ride very popular within the fairground community. The ride can accommodate 36 riders at a time, and to ride alone, individuals must be at least 130 centimeters in height. Riders between 120 and 130 centimeters can enjoy the ride, but have to be with an adult aged 16 years or above. This will become of importance later on in the story. On the 17th of April 2017, Eugene along with his friends and family attended the final day of the Rye Easter Carnival, hosted by Whittingslow Amusements. Whittingslow Amusements are one of Australia's oldest carnival families and have been running since the 1930s. Both of his parents were working on the fair that day, so Eugene, his friend, and his 15 year old cousin were allowed to enjoy the carnival by themselves, with their family keeping their eye out from them from afar. It was coming to the end of the day, and the final ride was called for the Cha Cha Ride, which was Eugene's favourite ride at the fair. Although his 15 year old cousin told him not to, him and his friend decided to line up for one more thrill ride before they would have to go home. Eugene was only 6 years old, but he was very tall for his age, standing at 132 centimetres tall. The rules on the ride state to ride alone, individuals must be at least 130 centimetres in height. Although by the rules he was allowed to ride alone, his parents never let him. His friend was actually below the height requirement to ride alone, but he and Eugene were let on the ride together anyway. For the first time, Eugene was placed on the outside seat, which was meant for adults only, whilst his friend was sat next to him. The lap barrier restraint was lowered, and the ride began. Straight away there appeared to be problems. Due to both of the riders being small, they began to slide into each other and be violently thrown around. One witness said the boys were holding on tight and looking frightened. As the ride sped up, Eugene was now hanging on for dear life, but sadly he lost his grip and was thrown from the ride. He then smacked his head off the side of the ride before landing on the ground underneath the ride, which was then quickly shut off. Both Eugene's parents were working when the incident occurred. They heard the distressing noise and commotion, indicating that something had gone terribly wrong, and ran to the scene. Eugene's father said, I immediately ran over and ran to my son. I just held him. I couldn't do much. He wasn't moving. That was the last time I held my son. Emergency services were called and Eugene was flown to the nearest children's hospital. He had severe wounds to his head and was in a coma and had been put on life support, but unfortunately four days later, 
on the 21st of August 2017, Eugene passed away. An investigation was then launched. WorkSafe Victoria were in charge of the investigation. WorkSafe is an occupational health and safety regulator in Victoria, Australia, responsible for ensuring workplace safety and preventing work-related injuries and accidents. Their investigation was to determine the cause of the tragedy and assess any potential safety violations or negligence. Rachel Elliard, counsel assisting the coroner said, there is some evidence to suggest that on other occasions on this day and on other days, Children under the height limit were prepared to ride without an adult. Eugene's parents have said in their statement that they themselves wouldn't have permitted him to ride without an older child or an adult. WorkSafe filed a criminal complaint against Whittingslow in November 2018, seven months after Eugene's passing, stating that the company had failed to protect passengers from safety concerns. However, the decision to drop the charges was made by the Office of Public Prosecutions a few years later. The charges were dropped due to the issues related to the evidence and the prospects of a successful prosecution. It was determined that there were complexities in establishing a clear, casual link between the alleged breaches of duty and the tragic outcome of the incident. As a result, the decision was made to discontinue the legal proceedings. Following the hearing, WorkSafe issued a statement indicating that they would not pursue a prosecution if the likelihood of success was low. The statement also mentioned that WorkSafe had been providing assistance to Eugene's family and would continue to support them in obtaining the necessary care and support they needed. Two years after the charges were dropped, an inquest into staff training, the suitability of young children on such rides, and whether the ride would meet current approval standards was held. A heartbroken mother is promising to fight for safety upgrades on carnival rides following the death of her little boy. The inquest, which was led by the parents of Eugene, was not looking to place blame on anybody or receive any money, but to make sure incidents like this can never happen again. Owner Michael Whittingslow, a witness in the inquest, declined to provide any evidence even with the protection against self-incrimination. Ride owner Michael Whittingslow was grilled about his adherence to safety standards. Did your staff know what they were doing that day? Hamish Munro, an engineer who assessed the char char ride prior to the incident, also refused to testify, which wasn't a good look for either of them, as he actually approved the ride as safe a few months prior. The inquest found that the ride operator that day, a man named Lucas, was incompetent and improperly trained. The inquest also found that a previous engineer had raised concerns about the ride a few years prior, but no action was taken. The court hearing an engineer enlisted to inspect the rides in 2015 was left with serious concerns. None of the items listed for repair or upgrade in last year's inspection have been undertaken and the rides were in worse condition than when inspected in 2014. To this day, no one has ever been charged and the coroner report has not been made public. Safety features on the ride have been updated by adding a seatbelt. Eugene's mother has stated that she vows to keep fighting for justice for her son and won't stop until regulations and safety are improved. Eugene, we want you to know mum and dad are doing everything we can to bring you justice. Let me know what you think about this case in the comments below. This is not an AI channel, I do all of this myself, the research, writing, editing, thumbnails, etc. And I upload every Thursday. So if you enjoy my work, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.